One of the things that I didn't mention in the first part of this drawing is that it's very difficult for me to talk and draw at the same time. And the, part of the reason for that is that talking requires a different part of the brain than drawing does. So talking is coming from the left side of the brain, which is more language oriented. And drawing and observing is coming from the right side of the brain. And it's very difficult to use both sides of the brain at the same time. So I'm going to complete this drawing without talking. And what I'm going to be looking for is the way this area here feels. I, I have the division of space pretty well done, but um, to my eye, there's a lot more blackness and density of blackness that has to come in on this side. I'm, again, I'm going to use more of the side of this marker while I, I do this. I'm going to find a starting point and I'm going to really, really keep my eyes on this little square and just glance periodically at the drawing paper. Okay, so I'm going to find my starting point. What I'm looking at is this area right here, which is that area there, and then pick up where I left off. Okay, the thing with drawing is that if you immerse yourself into the process, you lose track of time and you become really, really familiar with the space that you're looking at, almost like you're taking a walk through that space. Um, you can have a real strong memory of where things are going to be. Um, but one of the things that's important is to let go of any voice in your head that says, this isn't looking right, I can't do this, that critical voice. Because again, that's coming from the left side of the brain, which is language oriented. So in this process, the goal is to really try and develop the right side of the brain and using it. So. It looks like I could be finished with it, but again, as I observe this piece and I observe this piece, my eye tells me that this needs to get a little chunkier. There's, I need to eliminate some of the white space because this looks much more dense than this area does. So I'm just gonna go back in and add some bulk to the marks that I've just made. And again, this is mark making, and mark making is drawing. And I think it's time for you to begin your mark making process. So have fun.